What is up, you guys? Mental Hog back here for what is the series finale, episode 12 of the Real Madrid career mode. Just the one game today against Liverpool in the Champions League final in Turkey. And uh, I am very, very excited to cap this season off with what should be our third or fourth trophy of the season. If you count the Super Cup, it would be number four have, if we win it. So uh, yeah, I'm very excited. I hope that we end up winning the trophy. And if you guys are excited for this series finale and you enjoyed the Real Madrid career mode, I need your support down below. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new around here. We're on the road to 5K. I'm wanting it by the end of the year. I know that won't happen, but if all of you hit subscribe, there's about 80% of you watching that aren't subscribed. We'll get there super, super fast. So help me out with that. And I'll continue to give you guys the best content possible, at least that I can make. So yeah, on we go. Let's, uh, let's kind of build up to this match. Actually, I'd like to start off by looking at some things that I didn't look at at the end of last episode as we won La Liga. The player of the tournament was Griezmann. The goalkeeper of the tournament was Ter Stegen. Vinny winning the Pachichi. The team of the tournament, we've got Ferland Mendy in there. And and, that, and that's it. And that's actually, that's actually it. Ferland Mendy is the only player in the La Liga team of the season, despite a 25-game unbeaten run to wrap up the season. So, yeah. The disrespect from FIFA, man. The disrespect. I suppose we ought to look at Liverpool's season here before we play against them. They actually just came runners up in the Premier League on 80 points. City winning that one by 16 points. So it was not even very close for them in the Premier League. <laughs> so they're not definitely doing a, definitely not doing as well as us domestically. But obviously to make it all the way to the Champions League final, they had to have been no slouch in these knockout competitions. So let's see their run here. They started off in their group A here with Napoli, Rangers, and Ajax. They barely made it out of this group as well. If results went a certain different other way, they might not have even been in the knockout stages of the Champions League. Level on points with Rangers and very close with Napoli as well. And in the round of 16, they started their knockout campaign by knocking out Barcelona, our rivals in La Liga. In the quarterfinals, they actually went ahead and knocked out AC Milan. So they have haven't had the toughest run here, I guess. And then, obviously, they knock out Atletico Madrid to get to the final. So they do have experience knocking out all these Spanish teams to get to this point. We knocked out PSG, we knocked out Manchester City, and we knocked out Chelsea. So I would say we definitely had a more difficult run to the final than them. However, they we're both here, and they know how to play against these Spanish teams this season. So it really could go any way. I also want to take a look at who the top goal scorers are in this competition for Liverpool. For us... Benzema and Vinny Jr. are clear at the top, but I see that Darwin Nunez has seven goals. Luis Diaz has six goals. I don't see Salah on here, four goals. So a little bit further down, let's see who their uh, creator is. Let's, they've got um, Trent with four assists, which is nice to see for him because he can't defend to save his life. And that's actually their best creator. And then they're not actually seeming to keep a lot of clean sheets either. But, but honestly, neither are we. I don't even see us up here. I do actually, two clean sheets. For Courtois so far in this competition, but I actually don't see Liverpool like at all. Not even at all. Oh wait, yes I do. I am just blind. Alisson has two clean sheets as well. <laughs> okay you guys, here's the squad I'm rolling out with for the Champions League final against Liverpool. The last game of the Real Madrid career mode. Yes guys, this is going to be the last episode, win, lose, or draw of the Real Madrid career mode. And we'll talk a tiny bit more about that after this game, but Vinicius Jr., Benzema, and Mbappe that front three. The midfield, we've got Fede Valverde, Mujmal Musiala, and Chuameni in that midfield, which has turned out amazing for us, by the way. They've all grown so much and made it look world class. Ferland Mendy, Antonio Rudiger, Eder Militao, and Danny Carvajal. Yes, Danny Carvajal at right back today in our back four. Starting him over Reese James because he just seems to perform better than me, for me despite Reese James having better stats literally everywhere, a higher rating. Carvajal is just the guy for me. I don't know. I don't know, man. And Courtois. In my opinion, probably the best goalkeeper in the world right now is starting at that goalkeeper spot. He put in last season a Champions League final man of the match performance against this same team, Liverpool, when we won our 14th Champions League. So today, I want us to win number 15. Their team is looking relatively interesting, actually. They've got Diaz, Nunez, and Salah up top. They've got Zielinski in the midfield alongside Thiago and Fabinho. Van Dijk is their captain, Matip at center back with Alexander Arnold at right back, and I think that's Luke Thomas from Leicester City playing left back for them today. So that is definitely a weak spot that we're going to try to manipulate if we can. That means Mbappe is going to have to do a madness today and uh, in Turkey. And Seamus MacArthur, I don't know who that is, is officiating this game. By the way, I turned it back to world class. I'm going to end the series the way that we've been playing it all the whole time. And in the next series we do, we will definitely be playing on Legendary. Don't you worry. But we're going to finish this one out the way we started it. I would rather win this trophy today than worry too much about Legendary. So out we go. It's time to play this game. Raining in Turkey tonight for a Champions League final. 
against Liverpool. The match trailer. Oh, yeah, baby. Champions League trophy on the line. Who's going to win? Us or them? Oh, we've got love for Mbappe. The Real Madrid fans bring out the Kylian Mbappe Tifo for this Champions League final against Liverpool. The biggest game of our entire season and series right here, right now to finish it all off. Who's taking home that beautiful, beautiful trophy? We're going to find out. And the projected lineup for Liverpool is what we're seeing on the pitch. So Luke Thomas playing at left back is going to be something we look to abuse. Oh, the wait is over for the Champions League final here against Liverpool. Can we win it? I certainly think so. Right away, Mbappe. Just getting a free run down the wing. What is happening here? Waiting for some support. To the back post. Vinny Jr. wins the header. And it's wide. Alisson playing it short. To Joel Matip. Then to Trent. Who we all know defensively. A little bit weak. Yeah. Forced to pass it back. To Alisson. The pressure is real for them. Trent overlapping on the right hand side. Which is what he's going to want to do all game long. Now Ferlin Mendy. With plenty of space for Vinny Jr. Playing through this pass. Gets past Joel Matip. He's got to get inside here and beat Virgil van Dijk. Or lay it off for Benzema. Off the post and in. For 1-0 today. Nobody was ready for him at the back stick. And it's early lead for Real Madrid in the Champions League final. This is... It's world class, so this might be an 8-0 thrashing. I don't know yet. I couldn't tell you. But yeah, nobody on the edge of the box. You would think Fabinho would be there or somebody. And Alisson's not saving that when it's off the post and in. And it's goal number 13 for Karim Benzema in the Champions League this season. By far the top goal scorer, regardless of whether we win or lose today. Oh, Mo Salah. That's not a space we want to allow him to get into too many times this game. But what I do want to do a lot this game is go 1v1 against Luke Thomas. He's weak compared to the rest of their squad. Over the top, Benzema now for a brace. Oh, saved by Alisson. That was nice. Luis Diaz to Thiago. Thiago to Darwin Nunez. Oh, yes. Nice job. Valverde getting it out wide to Vinny Jr. These fullbacks are, are just weak today. Trent because his positioning is terrible. And Luke Thomas because his overall is terrible. Chumamani in space. Why not have the pop? Pretty good. Got through everybody, but Alisson catches it. Oh, no. Big mistake from Alisson at the back. Off his line now, Benzema forcing a save. Carvajal always getting to it. I don't know what it is about him versus Rhys James, but he's just a better player for some reason. Also, it looks like Valverde has taken on some sort of a knock, but he's still playing hard. Still running. So that's nice. The last thing anybody wants is to get subbed off with an injury in a Champions League final. It's literally like the worst thing. That or a World Cup final, something like that. But like a big game like this, you don't want to get injured. Luciala to Mbappe. Oh, actually gets in behind Van Dijk. And Matt Hip, but Van Dyke does get back in time to make him uh, a little bit uncomfortable with his shot. And Carvajal always winning the battle up against Luis Diaz on the white on the wide side here. I don't know what that's all about. Luis James couldn't do that. Here comes Trent. Overlapping at the right back spot. Here he comes. Oh boy. Oh boy. Salah's still in the box. Courtois gets to that. Very nice job. Now Musiala. Lots of space over here. We know about this. Trent can't get back. Get past Virgil van Dijk. He goes sliding in and misses. Vinny gets past everybody. Now I just got to beat Alisson, his teammate. It's 2-0. Vinny Jr. with a beautiful solo run to score us our second goal. And he's celebrating like he's some sort of messiah. Kind of has been this season for us at Real Madrid. Him and, him and Benzema have been incredible. Carvajal winning the ball back once again. Oh, going up against Luke Thomas, though. Not easy for him. Okay, that's the halftime whistle blown. It is 2-0 currently against Liverpool. We are honestly kind of dominating. They've had a chance or two, and they've been defending relatively well, but we just have too much for them. Ooh, Mbappe with some space here. Beating Luke Thomas. He's got 99 pace, so of course he's going to. Tries to get it back inside for somebody, because he had nothing left to do. Luke Thomas overlapping at this left back spot. That's about all he's going to be able to do, really. We all know he's not going to be able to defend against our team. So what he can do is get forward. Get it to Luis Diaz. Actually, this is Darwin Nunez. Gets it back inside, or at least tries to. Fails, and now we have a counterattack on here, but it's Van Dyke. It's going to try and stop Mbappe, and that's not going to work out too well. Benzema. Oh, he's got space. And time. And takes the shot. And scores a second goal in the Champions League final. Liverpool have opened up so much at the back. And Benzema going to do a little Vinny Jr. style dance. All right. And yeah, well, you cannot give Kareem Benzema that much space. Apparently, he's still got some legs left in him. He doesn't ever seem to be fast, but he kind of is. Darwin Nunez to Mo Salah. Back inside. Oh, yes. Ferland Mendy recovering so well. Ferland Mendy. Ferland Mendy to Benzema. 
Benzema for a Champions League hat trick from outside the box has the shot. Alisson, big save. Okay, there's 30 minutes left in this game. Guys, I want Bustos on the pitch. It's such a hard decision to make about who to sub off, but it's going to have to be Mbappe, unfortunately. Bustos, you deserve to play in the Champions League final, buddy. You've been literally such a hero for me all season long. You need to be on the pitch. Sorry, Mbappe. Rudiger with the recovery pace, but Thiago beats him to it. Darwin Nunez trying to get him back into this game. Big save by Courtois. And that's Zielinski coming off for Luka Modric against his old side in the Champions League final. Will he come on and do a madness? I honestly hope so. I really hope he does. Musiala to Valverde. Valverde recovered well from his little knock that he picked up in the first half. And now he can play through Vinny Jr. Now he can play through Borja Bustos. He's going to score, isn't he? Borja Bustos. Oh, big save by Alisson. Corner delivered in. It's impossible to get one on against these guys. They've got Alisson. They've got Van Dyke. You're not scoring a corner against them. Berlin Mendy. Jamal Musiala. Loses the ball. Darwin Nunez. Pulls it back. Fabinho. Gets the ball taken off of him, but it falls for them. Mohamed Salah. To Luis Diaz. Back to Mohamed Salah. Modric. Plays through Mo Salah. Salah shoots. That was the weakest shot I have ever seen anybody take. Ever. Darwin Nunez. And Luis Diaz linking up. Making a fool out of my defense. Trent Alexander-Arnold cues up the power shot. Okay. Courtois was ready for that one. Even though it stings his palms. Oh my god. Um, Rudiger, that was a nasty challenge on Mo Salah. He is not... Very lucky against Liverpool, I will tell you. It's a yellow card for him in the Champions League final, but you know what? Emotions are high. It's a big game. It's the biggest game, actually. And Salah seems to be all right. There's a short delivery into the box. There's an offside or something there. Yep, offside Virgil van Dijk. Nice try on the set-piece routine, guys, but uh, got to actually stay on side. That's like kind of important. Musiala, overlapping run from Danny Carvajal. Danny Carvajal waiting for runners. Back stick. Vinny Jr. against Trent. Wins the header. It's wide, though. And Luke Thomas has come off for Urien Timber. Why was he not starting? He's so much stronger of a player. His overall is way higher, at least. Militao to Borja Bustos. Bustos to Valverde. So much space. What's going on here? Vinny Jr. Curl it. Oh, it's off the post. You're joking. Oh, you're joking. Vinny Jr. could have scored a brace today as well. Here comes Diogo Jata against Antonio Rudiger. We're in stoppage time, by the way. This is looking like the last attack of the game. Berlin Mendy. Clear it out to Benzema. Does Benzema want to try for a hat trick? It doesn't matter. 3-0 in the Champions League final. It really was a little bit too easy. I'm glad we're going to make the switch to legendary, but I'm happy that we could end this career mode off on a high with a 3-0 win in the Champions League, baby. Let's go. Well, Benzema wasn't around to lift the La Liga title. He actually got subbed off in the game we were supposed to lift. We weren't even supposed to lift it when we did, but he got subbed off for it. But he's here today to lift the biggest one of them all. Number 15 for Real Madrid. Two years on the trot, 15 times in total. Their name is going to be engraved on this. Here we go. Come on. Campeones of Europe, of Spain, probably of the entire world at this point. But there's no Club World Cup, so we don't care about that. But yes, a Champions League trophy for Real Madrid in our one season wonder career mode with them. Celebrating with the fans in Turkey. I honestly have no idea why they have the Champions League final in this Turkish stadium so much. Is it happening in Istanbul again this year? I think so. But there's fireworks despite the rain. I don't even know how that works, but it does. And it's time for the family photo that you've all been waiting for. The Real Madrid squad who won the Champions League in Season 1. Here they all are. Where the heck is Mbappe? I actually don't even know. But he left PSG and won this trophy finally. Well, guys... The series is finished. Nothing much left to do except to do a final review of the squad. Take a look at who did what. And uh, yeah, just kind of cap it off and say thanks for you guys for watching the series. Vinicius Jr. with 49 goals, 26 assists this season. 31 and 14 in La Liga, 11 and 6 in the Champions League. Benzema, freaking guy, man. 47 goals and 44 assists. That gives him... If I can do math, that's 91 goal contributions. My God. 91 goal contributions in less than half of that for games. The dude's insane. The dude is insane. Mbappe, 29 goals and 11 assists in only half a season here with us at Real Madrid. He's been incredible. Musiala, what a signing in the midfield he was, huh? 12 and 7. 
Bustos 12 and 6. Our top creators, Benzema with 44 assists. My goodness. Vinicius was 26, Mbappe with 11. It's all about that front three. You know it. You know how it is, guys. You really do. 15 clean sheets kept by Courtois, one by Lunin. So 16 clean sheets in total. I'll take that, guys. And what a series this has been. I have been so happy with how the team performed. And I just want to check one more thing, which is what is the record for the most goals scored in a La Liga season? Because we got 121. You know what, guys? Funnily enough, the most league goals scored in a season was by Real Madrid in 2011 and 2012, and it was exactly this number, 121. We equaled the La Liga record for the most goals scored by a team in a single season. So that's pretty freaking cool. And yeah, guys, this is going to be a rather short episode, but that's because we did everything we needed to do. We won the Champions League. We reviewed our season. We reviewed their season before we played them. We looked at all our players. This is the squad that we were able to assemble in just one season. It looks kind of different but kind of the same, if you think about it. I mean, we have one player different, two players different in the starting 11, Musiala and Mbappe. Our bench is, I will say, very, very different. Yes, we have a different um, front three, like backups entirely. We've sold off a lot of players, and uh, I, I would have loved to potentially do a second season here at Real Madrid. You guys actually voted for me to do a second season as well, but guys, we won everything there is to win, and this, this series is not getting nearly as much attention, viewership, and whatnot as Man City, so... I just think that we could take this time that I spend making the Real Madrid videos and make something even better. So this will be the end of the Real Madrid series on the channel. That doesn't mean that you won't see me use any La Liga teams in the future. We might come back and do a Barca career mode. That sounds like fun. And um, that's pretty, pretty much probably the only other team I'd be interested in doing something with in La Liga. But what I would like to do, guys, is I would like to hear from you in the comment section down below. What team do you want to see me do a career mode with next? I put out a vote a while ago, and most of you like the Premier League. A lot of you want to see Season 3 at Man City. I think there's a way I can make that happen. However, there's something else I would like to do on the channel, because Man City shouldn't be the main series anymore. Honestly, we should change it up. So we'll talk more about that in the Man City video. But in the comments down below, what Premier League team, or less than the Premier League team, would you like to see me do a career mode with? We could do a championship, League One, League Two. We could do Wrexham. Whatever you guys want to see in the English divisions, let me know. Because actually, a, a Road to Glory sounds kind of fun. I just don't know how many people would watch it. Unless it was Wrexham. Maybe Wrexham could be fun. But guys, once again, thank you so much for your support on the Real Madrid series and the Man City series. The channel has been doing so, so well. So guys, if you're new around here, please subscribe down below. Because we are going to be putting out content six days a week like we have been doing. We are grinding so hard. We are racing to 2,000, 3,000, 5,000, a million subscribers. So help me get there. And I will help you be entertained once a day for six days a week, if that makes sense. I think it does. But yeah, guys, that's going to cap off this series. I'm really bad at ending things like a series because I just get so, like, nostalgic and emotional about this kind of stuff. But yeah, this is going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and peace.